The purpose of this demonstration video is to highlight the main features of ARIO's Maxi Twin Passive Lift with your choice of dedicated spreader bar, chosen from a range of bars to meet your patient's needs. Maxi Twin and Maxi Twin Compact is intended for use in lifting and transferring patients and residents in hospitals, nursing homes, or other healthcare facilities and home care facilities is suitable for use in acute and long-term care for patients with a mobility level of Doris or Emma, weighing up to 182 kilos, 400 pounds. It is also available with a smaller footprint, with a safe working load of 160 kilos, 350 pounds. The MaxiMove Compact, which is available with a flat powered dynamic positioning system, PDPS. Opening and closing the chassis legs. Push the legs open button on the control handset or control panel until the required width for the chassis legs is reached. To close, press the legs closed button. Movement will stop if the button is released, whether opening or closing. Only move the Maxi Twin when the chassis legs are in the closed position. Using the PDPS spreader bar, PDPS has the advantage of positioning the patient with minimal physical effort by the caregiver. In order to position the patient, move the PDPS by a push of a button on the hand control. The movement will stop with the release of the button. The spreader bar will remain firmly in position once powered movement has stopped. Transferring a patient using the PDPS. Place the patient in the appropriate sling according to the sling's instructions. Ensure the positioning handle on the spreader bar is facing away from the patient and that the open part of the spreader bar is at or just below your patient's shoulder level. Ensure that the Maxi Twin is close enough to be able to attach the sling's shoulder clips to the spreader bar. Operate the powered DPS control buttons on the handset to move the spreader bar into the required position. Once the Maxi Twin is in position, attach the shoulder strap attachment clips to the sling attachment lugs on the spreader bar. Using the hand control, lower the PDPS and attach the leg strap attachment clips. Lift the patient using the handset control and adjust to a comfortable position for transfer. Move the lift away from the chair. The angle of recline can be adjusted for more comfort. When lowering the patient back down, Use the handset or control panel to put the patient into a position that aligns with their destination. This minimizes lifting strain for the caregiver and ensures comfort for the patient. Transfer a patient using a two-point spreader bar and loop slings. Attach the shoulder loops to the hooks. Bring the leg pieces in a cross formation between the thighs. Once the sling has been positioned and attached securely to the loop bar, then lifting can be carried out using the hand control. Driving Positioning Handles Use the driving handles when pushing and positioning the Maxi Twin lift. The hand control has an integrated hook, which makes it easy to attach. Vertical Movement The up arrow and down arrow buttons on the handset are used to raise or lower the patient. If you have a Maxi Twin fitted with Powered Dynamic Positioning System, or PDPS, Press the image of the lying person to recline the PDPS and press the image of the seated person to raise the PDPS to upright position. Scale on the PDPS. The Maxi Twin Lift PDPS is available with or without a scale. Caster brakes. The chassis rear casters have brakes which can be foot operated to keep the Maxi Twin Lift in position. The brakes on both casters have to be applied to get full effect. When lifting or lowering a patient who's supported by a sling, it is not necessary to use the brakes. This allows the lift to move to the correct position relative to the center of gravity of the patient. It's recommended to apply the brakes, however, when lifting a patient from the floor. This may prevent any unwanted or accidental movement of the Maxi Twin lift that may cause harm or injury. Emergency stop. In case of an emergency, where you immediately have to stop any powered movement, press the emergency stop button, located on the side of the main lift actuator cover. Once the emergency stop button has been operated, 
it will have to be reset before any powered movement can be utilized. To reset the emergency stop function, turn the red emergency button clockwise until it pops up. Emergency lowering. The emergency lowering ring is on the top of the main lift actuator housing. A green and white identification label is positioned near the emergency lowering ring for quick and easy recognition. Pull the emergency lowering ring up to operate, release the control during use, and lowering will stop. Battery. The battery is situated on the side of the lift actuator housing. A beeping sound and a low battery indicator light will flash when the battery needs charging. The caregiver should complete the current lift movement. To ensure that the Maxi Twin is always ready for use, it is recommended that a fully charged battery pack always be on hand. Do this by having additional battery packs available and keeping one charging while the other is in use. Maxi Twin Compact The lift is intended to be used for lifting and transfers in hospitals, nursing homes, private homes and in home care of patients. The equipment is intended for indoor use, with the exceptions of transfers to and from a car, during which the Maxi Twin Compact may be used for short outdoor distances on hard surfaces such as driveways, streets or garage floors. The patient's weight must not exceed 160 kilos. 350 pounds.